When investors entered 2023, they expected an economic recession to hit the United States, a global growth slowdown and dwindling corporate profits. However, what unfolded was the U.S. economy staying surprisingly resilient, faster than expected easing in inflationary conditions globally, and equities staging a smart comeback in the second half of the year. So far in 2023, benchmark indices across developed markets such as the U.S., Germany, France, and Japan have outperformed emerging market indices by surging in the range of 27 to 43 percent. By comparison, benchmarks in India, Taiwan, Brazil, Indonesia, and China have delivered returns between 6 and 20 percent. In fact, EMs such as Hong Kong and Thailand has declined 16 to 17 percent in 2023. Going ahead as investors reject their portfolios to prepare for 2024, will the outperformance of developed markets continue in the year ahead? The answer may not be that simple. QDP gaps have been already open with China, the Latin American and the Central and Eastern European countries cutting rates as early as March this year. In terms of which countries are going to shine, remember liquidity is just one aspect and there are other uh, parameters like valuations, earnings, politics, you know, which are equally important when we deploy capital. A large section of analysts believe emerging markets may become the top investment destination for most investors as the regions enjoy better economic growth prospects. In the past couple of years, the EMs have relatively underperformed with steady strengthening of the USD and amidst global micro uncertainties. However, both these factors are likely to reverse now, which would be conducive for improved FII flows to the emerging markets. Mochula expects India to see disproportionately higher flows due to strong economic and corporate earnings growth, strong capex cycle and political stability. He also expects China to see flows on valuation comfort. That said, analysts at Morgan Stanley cautioned that China's tepid growth could weigh on emerging markets and there is a risk that the country's economy could get sucked into a wider debt deflation spiral with ripple effects for the rest of Asia and beyond in 2024. It does expect US equities to have better returns than European or emerging market stocks, especially if the US manages a soft landing. It is overweight on Japan, equal weight on the US and underweight on EMs except India and Mexico. Overall, analysts foresee 2024 to be a tale of two halves, where the first half may belong to developed markets, with peaking of interest rates driving superior returns in the region. The second half, however, may belong to emerging markets with the US Fed cutting rates and the weakening of the US dollar boosting flows into EMs. Today, on 27th December, global queues and year-end portfolio shuffling will sway the markets. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She's working her way to the corner office. Business Standard.